Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting viewer-suggested integral using partial fraction and Dirichlet integral, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral from zero to infinity sine of pi x over x times one minus x squared dx. Only two things, partial fraction and Dirichlet integral. So focusing on your denominator first, I'll be putting one over x times 1 minus x squared to partial fraction. This is just the same as 1 over x, then plus 1 over 2 times 1 minus x, minus 1 over 2 times 1 plus x. So that is why I'll be calling this integral as just the i. And our integral i is represented as integral from 0 to infinity of sine pi x over just the x dx, and then plus, I'll be pulling 1 over 2 outside. So 1 over 2 times integral from 0 to infinity of sine pi x over 1 minus x dx, and then pulling negative 1 over 2 outside of the integral. So negative 1 over 2 times integral from 0 to infinity of the same thing, sine of pi x over 1 plus x dx. So for the first integral, this is well-known Dirichlet integral. So let's just focus on the second and the third. So let me just call this integral as number 1 and calling this as number 2. Let's just talk about the first one. The first one using u substitution, let me just call u as 1 minus x. Then your du has to be negative dx. So using this, we can rewrite this integral, number one, as integral. Uh, the lower bound and the upper bound should be changing, right? So the lower bound has to be negative infinity, and upper bound has to be positive one. And then you should have sine of, let me make a bracket, then we have pi times one minus u. That over uh, just a u, and then we have du. And let me use sine property, that is sine of pi, say, minus x. Okay, this is just the sine of x. So that is why this integral is just the same as integral from negative infinity to 1. That of sine of pi u over u du. Okay, then let's move on to this integral number 2, right? So for integral number 2, I'll be using v substitution since I used the u for the first one. So let me just call v as 1 plus x. That says your dv is just a dx, right? So using this, our integral has to be the same as, so only the lower bound should be changing to 1. So your integral has to be integral from 1 to infinity still. And then we have sine of, let me make a bracket, pi times v uh, minus 1. Close your bracket over v. Then we have dv. So this is just the same as integral from 1 to infinity of negative sine of pi v over v dv. Okay, so using this and that integral, let me just rewrite this integral i, right? So integral i is the same as then. First of all, this integral from 0 to infinity of sine pi x over x dx. And then plus 1 over 2 times integral from negative infinity to 1 of sine pi u over u du. And then let me pull this negative sign out, right? We originally had negative 1 over 2, so negative, negative cancel out. So plus 1 over 2 times integral from 1 to infinity of sine pi v over v dv. And even though we have different variables, x, u, and v, they're just variable. So we can just rewrite this i as using just a k. It's so the same as integral from 0 to infinity of sine pi, say, k over k dk. And then plus 1 over 2 times integral 
from negative infinity to one sine of pi same k over k, dk. Then also plus one over two times integral from one to infinity of sine pi k over k, dk. It is just going to be fine. And then if you consider these two integrals, They have the same integrand, but then again, if you consider the lower bound and the upper bound, from negative infinity to one, one to infinity. So these two integrals combine the entire real line. So we can just represent this i as the same integral from zero to infinity of sine of pi k over k dk. And then plus pulling this one over to out and add these two up. From negative infinity to infinity of sine pi k over k dk. Then we can use Dirichlet integrals. The first one was using integral from uh, 0 to infinity of sine, say, a t over t dt. This is pi over 2 if your a is positive. And integral from negative infinity to infinity of same sine of a t over t dt. This is just going to be the same as pi, of course, if a is positive. So that is why this integral i that we're looking for is just the same as the first one was pi over 2 plus 1 over 2 times. This whole thing is just equal to pi. So pi over 2 plus pi over 2, this is just a pi. So pi will stands for the question. So pretty interesting integral using partial fraction and Dirichlet integral. How amazing. 